What I'm going to show you is how to nudge a region of audio in Ableton, which is super important when you need to get precise. And I haven't seen any videos on it in, on YouTube talking about this topic particularly. I just see general videos about editing audio, which is fine. But maybe you're looking for something that's a little more concise and to the point. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here we have a region of audio. All right, you have a top bar and you have a bottom bar. The bottom bar is a lot larger than the top bar. Okay, when you want to move audio with the mouse, you click on the top bar and you move the audio like that using the mouse pad. Okay, now when it comes to nudging audio, you want to work in the larger box where the waveform is located. And all you have to do is simply press the right key like that and it moves to the right or you hit the left key like this and it moves to the left, right, left. Now, let's say you want to change that value. You come where the waveform is in the larger box. You hit control, click. You scroll down to the bottom where it says fixed grid. And let's say you want to move this region two bars. You click two bars. Now the region will move two bars across the grid. Right, left, right, left. And it's moving in increments of two bars. But let's say that's too much. That's, that's, that's way too much. So you go back into the box. You hit control click and let's say you want to move it just quarter notes quarter notes now right left right left now here's the kicker okay now there are those moments where you want to get really really precise you want to really get into the grooves of the audio whatever it is you're trying to do you come in the large box here you hold down command and you move it right. You hit the right arrow key like that. And you'll see the region moving in some more increments. Or you hold down command and you move it in the left direction like that. And the region is moving in smaller increments. And that's how you really get in there. Really get in those small areas or make small adjustments. So again, thanks for watching and um, I appreciate you. If this helped, uh, don't hesitate to subscribe and um, I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thank you. Take care.